I found this verse the other day, and I chewed on it. You ever, you know, reading, and you find this verse, and you think, I don't know if I realized that before. You know, I've read the Bible through 40, over 40 sometimes, and I know I've read it, but I just never, it never jumped out at me before. 2 Corinthians 12, 15. And I will very gladly spend and be spent for you, though the more abundantly I love you, the less I be loved. Isn't that a sad, sad thing? Real love does hurt, you know. And Paul here says, the more abundantly I love you, the less I be loved. It seemed like to him, the more he gave to people, the more they hurt him. That's what I took that to mean. But he still said at the beginning of the verse, I will gladly spend and be spent for you, all of you that are givers to people. I know you willingly give and you want to give. I know that in my lifetime that I have been hurt numerous times by people that I gave to, that I willingly did for and and tried to um, help them in some way, and then they ended up hurting me. I remember a girl in uh, our early ministry, a teen girl, that my husband and I helped a lot. And eventually... The girl turned on me and was going around town saying really negative things about me. And I don't know if she did it for sure, but I'm pretty confident that she is the one that sent me some really dirty magazines. You know, I had to call and cancel the subscription. (laughs) It was so embarrassing. They came in black plastic, if that tells you how bad the magazines were. (laughs) But anyway... Uh, I believe she did that for me as revenge because of her bitterness toward me. I remember one time in my later ministry that I I was counseling a woman about some hurts, and um, she called me on a Saturday night, and I just couldn't answer the phone. And I just couldn't, you know. And I had told her before we started this that my family was first and that, you know, the problem with hurt people when you're trying to help them, is that they? it's easy for them to feel rejection. And so because I didn't answer that time, you know, she got really hurt and just blackballed me, you know, wouldn't talk to me at all, blocked my phone calls, etc. And I thought, how sad, you know. I tried to give to her, and she couldn't allow me a little opportunity to, you know, to be with my family to do what I needed to do. That's sad. But the more I gave to her, you know, the less I felt loved later on. Um, I have you ever helped somebody and then a friend. Now, let me tell you, if you're this kind of friend, it's not really a good friend, but a friend came and told me that Loretta, you got to try to, you got to stop trying to help that girl. And I said, why? And she said, because she came to me and told me that you were just interfering and, 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 trying to be bossy with her and here I thought she wanted this counsel and and had come to me and asked me questions and it turned out that she interpreted that I was trying to control her and I thought wow well I'm glad the friend told me that but it made me what I'm saying to you is sometimes when people tell you negative things about somebody else you maybe you shouldn't tell them but I would I'm glad that I found out that time but the point being is here I was thought this girl had asked me this question, thought that I was helping her, thought I was giving her advice that she had sought after, and I was wrong. And she took it like I was trying to control her and tell her what to do. So real love does hurt. I relate to Paul. When I read that 2 Corinthians 12, 15, I thought, I will very gladly spend and be spent for you. And I have gladly done for other people, and I'm telling you, I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to try to help people. Though the more abundantly I love you, the less I be loved. But I'm going to accept the fact that there are times when those people are going to hurt me. And I think you should too. Yep, real love does hurt. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice.